It has been about three years since I built this computer. It's well overdue for some TLC. <laughs> especially when there's rubbing alcohol on your Q-tip, that it's not gushing with alcohol so you don't get any components wet. You're just using the rubbing alcohol basically to get the thermal paste off, basically. As I'm cleaning this PC, I realize how long it's been since I took care of it. Outside of the software and driver updates, like really took care of it. You probably heard it in the background in some of my videos, which is why I try to cut it off before I record anything. But I forget sometimes. When it's running, it's running hot and loud, struggling to output at the peak performance it expected should. But the truth of the matter is, it's just been running too long, being dusty, in the need of some upgrades. You hear that? Well, to me, this is a big improvement from what it originally was. It just goes to show a little downtime makes a world difference. All I did was dust it out and add a new thermal paste and give it 32 gigs of RAM. Now it's moving as fast as ever. To be honest, I've been feeling dusty myself. But wait a second, that cut's looking too clean though. Let's rewind like a week back when I actually took care of this. So, I've tried to do this every three to four months, do a retwist for my hair. And this is from a cousin out there who's trying to do her locks as well. I might not continue to do it this way, but we'll see. But essentially, this is the interlock way. So, I had this little needle thing right here, just put it on the edge of my locks where the buds are at. And I find the piece that I want. And I like to do, go based off of where it is because last time I did it, it could be confusing, but I know exactly where I need to do it so I don't get like any loops in my locks. So um, in this case, I'm gonna start 
east to west, which is like right to left. This is from my perspective, really. And then I'm gonna go north, which is like the front of my head, to south, to the back of my head. Then I'm gonna go west to east, so left to right. Let's see. And then I go from south to north, so the back to the front. So this makes it where you have like a circular pattern. And yeah, it's super helpful for um, making sure you don't get loops in there. Because if you go through the same loop twice, you're going to get loops in your locks. And there's going to be spaces in there. So just, uh, just some info from a cousin out there who's watching this video. Now repeat the process, east to west, north to south. And that's pretty much locked for me. I don't like it too tight, but yeah. So that was probably like a good six loops through at the roots and it's good for me. So as you can see, this is a 0.5 millimil, millimeter, mm, it's a 0.5 mm crochet needle it's like super small and this is what this is really important to get this because this is going to allow you to grab the hair and also let loose of the hair when you use it so yeah yeah i think this one probably has it so as you see it's just like a little curly it's not really hanging on to anything so this is what i'm going to do to it to make it butt up so First thing I do is try to wet it because it's really important, especially with my type of hair. I have a very coarse C type of hair. So that pretty much means it's super curly, but it's so important to wet it because my hair, when it gets wet, it expands and when it dries, it contracts. So this part makes it where it expands and then when I'm putting it together, I like to like loop it in this particular fashion. Loop it through and twist it around, twist it. Now I take in between my fingers, this little tool, and I just pull the hairs and I go downwards. And I also put it at an angle toward going towards my roots. And I always go towards your roots rather than pulling from the roots because you can start pulling your hair from your roots and that's not good. And then, so yeah, I don't really do that this much this often other than do it to like the ends of my hair. But, yeah, if I do find something like that, I just do this. So, it won't get too loose. But yeah, as you see, all but it. It could be better, but yeah, I just put it together that fast. When it dries in, it's just gonna contract. That's it. Hope that helps. So this is all what I use on my hair. And I barely use the, the one to the left, the little crochet needle, because I don't really need it as much. But as you can see, that is like the interwoven tool right here, and just water. And of course, I wash my hair with shampoo and some conditioner, but this is all I do to maintain my locks when I'm trying to do a retwist. If taking care of my hair is for my body, then this is for my mind and my soul. I've been meditating and focusing on my breathing for years. There's a little story on how I got into it. 
I want to say it was when I was in third grade when my dad put me in track. But before I got put into track, my school had this fitness test that included a mile run. I was horrible to say the least. My time was like 22 minutes or something like that because I would run, then stop, run some more for 10 steps, then stop again. No form, completely breathing straight from my mouth, in and out. On top of that, usually these fitness tests would be during the fall season, so I would have this dry mouth, cold pressing air cutting at my lungs, it felt. The supposedly asthma I had didn't help either. It was during the springtime of my third grade year, I started the Road Runners AAU team. Aww, oh, beep beep. Woo, woo. Just a little nostalgia coming back. During that practice that spring and summer, I wasn't getting it. I was losing my breath, feeling fatigued quickly. It wasn't until one spring or summer practice, my dad pulled me to the side near the gate fence of the track and said, I see the problem. You're breathing completely from your mouth. All you gotta do, son, is control your breath. Breathe in deeply through your nose and out your mouth slowly. Focus on your form and visualize your finish. As the summer ended, I came back to school in my fourth grade year. The fitness test came back as well during the fall, and I had this new technique to conquer it. I finished the test not knowing what I did. Towards the end of the PE class, all the kids lined up with their respective classes, and I stood at the front of my class line. Before we left back to the class, my PE instructor announced someone had broke the school record for the mile. I looked around to see who it was. Then she mentioned my name. I was in disbelief. From struggling to breaking the school record was crazy to me. I still had my negative thoughts along with my positive thoughts during this whole transformation. I just let it come and go as they please. One thing I could control was my breathing. I gotta thank my father for that. Thanks, Pops.